Welcome to the drip irrigation demonstration plot at the Natural Resources College in Lirongwe, Malawi, under an initiative called Advanced Agrotechnology for Sustainable Development. The venture is a long-term partnership between the Israeli government and the Malawi government, which has got component provision of equipment and staff capacity building. The Israelis have uh, brought this uh, uh, technology, and uh, NRC uh, was uh, selected as uh, one of uh, the centers of uh, excellence uh, from where this uh, technology uh, is uh, going to be rolled out uh, uh, country-wide. Uh, at NRC, we have uh, been using uh, the uh, manual irrigation uh, system uh, for our demonstration plots uh, for the students using uh, watering uh, cans. Uh, but now uh, we have adopted uh, this uh, technology using the uh, drip uh, system. The difference between the manual system and uh, the drip uh, irrigation system is that uh, it is efficient in that uh, the water is uh, targeted uh, at uh, each of uh, the uh, plants, as uh, you, uh, you can uh, uh, see uh, here. And uh, this water is uh, pumped up from uh, uh, a tank uh, there, and uh, we have uh, these uh, reservoirs uh, that are installed around here. Uh, and uh, the water is uh, uh, taken uh, to the plants um, using gravity. Uh, so you just have to raise uh, the tank a uh, little bit and uh, then the water will be uh, evenly uh, distributed. Uh, this ensures uh, that uh, there is a uh, uniformity in terms of uh, uh, usage of uh, water by uh, the uh, plants, uh, but uh, it also assists uh, in uh, fertilizing the uh, plants. Because uh, we use uh, uh, fertigation, we put uh, the fertilizer in the tanks and uh, while we are watering the uh, plants, uh, we are also at the same time uh, applying uh, the uh, fertilizer. Uh, so it promotes a uh, uniform growth of uh, the uh, plants. The drip irrigation technology can turn Malawi from food deficit into a food basket for the region and beyond because it is convenient, efficient and cost effective. Malawi uh, as a country is uh, endowed with uh, uh, vast uh, uh, water resources which at the moment uh, we are not uh, using uh, efficiently. Uh, as I indicated uh, earlier on, this is an efficient uh, irrigation uh, method, uh, firstly. Uh, it is not uh, that labor intensive. As uh, long as uh, you have uh, installed uh, uh, the tanks and uh, the pipes, uh, what you have to do is uh, just uh, open uh, a tap and uh, the uh, water will be uh, applied uh, to uh, the crops. But uh, also secondly, uh, we have uh, unpredictability in terms of uh, uh, rainfall. Uh, so this is uh, 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 a technology uh, that can be used to mitigate uh, against uh, the uh, effects of uh, 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 drought. We started uh, in August. Uh, some of the crops uh, have just been uh, harvested and you can see we have uh, another uh, crop stand and uh, when we take out uh, this we are also going to put uh, uh, another uh, crop so it improves uh, uh, productivity. This uh, system will, uh, when uh, rolled out uh, countrywide will change uh, our fortunes as a, a, a nation. Uh, we will have uh, increased uh, uh, productivity uh, but also at the same time uh, we are looking at in the long term improving the quality of uh, uh, the uh, product, uh, products that uh, we uh, produce. Uh, so it is uh, a beneficial uh, technology uh, that should be adopted. The soil only around the crops are complete wet like this, and here it's complete dry. We irrigate only from here to here, 30% from the plot. 60% is complete dry. It means like the fields that you show before, it's complete dry. And here, look, I take my hand here, it's complete wet, it's wet. And this is the drip, how the drip coming, you see, every plant have one drip, the place where the drip are coming. You see here the drip under, yes, here, here, the drip come. It's around one liter per one hour. Every plant get around 0.5 liter per day, equal. 
if we don't have rain. If we have rain, so we alternate. But here we bring every day, we bring water and also the fertilizer. We take the fertilizer in around 60 times, not one time. Grass come because the water, the, the pest coming because you have weeds. And you need to make use herbicide. Here you don't need to use no herbicide, less pesticides, less water, 30% of fertilizer. Everything is better. With this, we possible very easy to make three crops in the year. Now, for prices, this system is cost around 1,000 kwacha per one square meter. But this is possible to run around 10 years without any extra uh, budget. And if you compare with petrol, energy, fertilizer, it's cost maybe three, four times more. But this is come slowly, slowly, not in one time. The technology can also be used so in orchards. What we are doing in the first time, we locked the extra drip, so we bring only three drip each plant. The extra we locked. And when the trees become, after one or two years, more bigger, so slowly, slowly we open all the drip. The project is promoting drip irrigation technology beyond the college campus by engaging peasant farmers. Working in groups or farmer clubs makes adaptation even more relevant. People are continue to believe what was yesterday. Please look what happened tomorrow. And tomorrow we have less water, less, less field, less energy. Every become less and less and more expensive. And this is one of the solution for tomorrow. So please adopt this. It is hoped that with improved knowledge transfer and more aggressive advocacy programs, more and more farmers in Malawi will adopt the drip irrigation technology and realize better and sustainable returns from agriculture enterprise.